Hey everybody, my name is Alex, and in this video I'm going to go over exactly how you should update to version 1.2.8. This is kind of a big update because it does a lot of stuff with the database, and uh, it can take up a lot of resources, and it can take a long time for your node to come back online. So make sure if you have layers coming up, you hold off on the update until you have, I'd say, at least an hour uh, for the first node. So if you have multiple nodes, the ones after are going to go a little bit quicker because I'm going to show you some tips and tricks and how to make that work a little bit better for you. Um, but let's get started. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is choose a node that doesn't have any layers coming up that you want to update. So for me, uh, you can actually see I've already updated um, my first node here to 1.2.8. That was just so that I could get all the steps down. Uh, but what I'm going to do is start from scratch on this node 02. This doesn't have any post data attached to it, so I'm comfortable doing the update on this. But the first thing you're going to want to do is shut down the node. You never want to do, um, well, in order to, to do the update, I need to actually like update the version. So the first thing you're going to do is basically shut down the node uh, if you're running Docker. And then I'm going to go into my stack here and just change to 1.2.8. So if you are not running Docker, you would just download, you know, you'd stop your node, download the latest version, install it, and run the update. So Docker is much easier because I can just change the version here and then click update stack. And what that's going to do is only restart this node here. So if I go into the logs, I can see that it's restarting. Um, and if I go back to containers, I can see like my other nodes don't get restarted. Like these, this is just continuing where it was. I only, when I update a stack, it only updates the one that I changed. So that is working right now, and this is going to take a little while to update. So I'm going to pause the video, but I want to do one more thing, um, and that is there's a new section you need to add to your config that helps with ATXs. So let me remove this, and I'm going to do um, nano nodes. I already made the change on the first node, and what you're going to want to add is this cache. ATX size 300,000. So I'm going to copy that, control X, and you can modify the configs while the node is running. So now I'm going to jump to node 2 that I've already updated, and I'm going to add this, and I like to add it right after the main section. I'm just going to paste it in here, control X, Y, enter, and I'm going to eventually stop this node once the update is complete and start it again, and that's when that config change will take effect. And this is gonna help reduce CPU usage, which actually uh, has had a big impact on my ability to proof during the cycle gap because the new ATXs coming in have been bogging down my CPU. So when you upgrade to 1.2.8, you should make that ATX change, the cache change for your ATXs. Um, so what I do is I typically will start the update make the config change. When I stop the update, um, or when I stop my node after the update to vacuum my database and do all the other changes, when I finally start it back up, it'll be running with the new config. Um, so you can really do it at any time, but you know, <laughs> I just do things a specific way, I suppose, because I feel like it's the best way, but uh, do it however you want. Uh, I'm gonna stop the video now, and I will bring you back once the database has all, had all the changes and the node has started. All right, we are back. And yes, I'm wearing a different shirt. Uh, I had lunch and then I took a shower and now I'm back. This update does take a little while. In fact, let's see if we can see how long it took using Grafana. Let me share Firefox, but it's not showing because Because I don't know why. Let's get it added. Okay. Uh, let's go into the dashboard. And this was Venus. And we'll check 
this. Um, all right, there's more. Okay, so it was a little while ago. Um, all right, it looks like it took from 940 all the way to, actually, I guess that's not that long. Uh, 940 to, nine, it only took like 15, 20 minutes. So I don't know. People have been saying that it's taking a long time. Uh, this is a little off the screen. Oh no, this is fine. Uh, but anyways, it is done. And we can typically confirm that because we're gonna have a massive uh, file here. Let's do ls-l nodes, node02, and it's gonna be my SM data. And yes, we have this huge uh, SQL-wall file, and we have this 16 gigabyte just state.sql file. Now, everything's running, but we need to vacuum the database, which will, I believe, remove this uh, dash wal file and to do that, we need to turn off the node. So jumping back into Firefox here, this is the node. We're actually just going to, I like to do it from the container view. Um, just click that node and click stop. So we're gonna stop the node and let's get back into the terminal. And we're gonna do this command let me, I think I have it up here already. Okay, so just so I don't mess it up, I'm gonna change this to two. So we're gonna do sqlite three, and if you don't have it installed, it's just sudo apt install sqlite three. I didn't have it, so I had to install it. Then it's gonna be no, like wherever your state.sql file is, you're gonna vacuum that state.sql file. So you need to put in your full path to the state.sql file. Uh, vacuum with a colon and then uh, in parentheses like the single quote quotation parentheses uh, <laughs> and then you'll just hit enter and this does take a while so I'm gonna stop again but what should happen if it's done correctly is that this file will be about 15 gigabytes this file will be gone and this file will be gone so what you can do after that for all your other nodes is delete all the state files and copy in just the state.sql. And then when you do the update, it should take much quicker than it normally does. This is kind of like the best way to do it. Mine, it seemed like it did the whole update in like 15 minutes, but I'm on an NVMe uh, that's very fast. So I would expect that it's done quickly. But if you're on something maybe a little bit slower, it might not get done as quick. Uh, so I will bring you back once this is done and we'll show how I move it to node 03 so that that node uh, can then do the update. So I'll stop it here. And I promise I'll be wearing the same shirt when I come back. All right, I'm back. And yes, now I have a hoodie on. It got a little bit cold. So uh, that's just how it goes. All right, so at this point, the database has been compacted. If I do ls-lh for my sm data folder i can see i just have a state.sql file that's 15 uh, gigabytes so i got rid of that dash shm dash wal file and at this point i can turn my node back on if i want if i have other nodes that i need to move this over to I can do that at this point. Of course, I'd want to stop those nodes. So for instance, if I go to, hold on one sec. Uh, I just need to bring up Firefox. Okay, so if I'm in my portainer, uh, so this is the one I'm working on. That's why I have it stopped. I can now stop uh, like three, and then once that stops, I can do the update, move the state file over. Um, you can move, actually move the state file over before you do the update, obviously, because that's the whole purpose. So what I want to do is stop node 03. I'd move the, delete the existing three state files. Actually, so let's just do it. Um, 
that way it's not confusing at all. This is how I would do it if I was going to do, um, well, I, I do need to do it anyways. So what I'm going to do is stop. We always want to stop the node before we mess with any state files. And then go back into here. And what we're going to do is, there's a, there's a better command to do this, but I'm going to do it step by step. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to CD nodes. I'm going into node 03 and I want the SM data. Now we can see there's three state files. We need to delete those. So I'm going to do rm um, state.sql and then I'm going to do an asterisk. And that should remove all three state files. So I do ls, they're now gone. The asterisk, of course, is just anything that matches, including .sql. So these three will match. It's a wildcard. Uh, so that is how you would do that. And then we can just do copy. And I'm going to copy it from nodes, node 02, SM data, state.sql, because that's the file we just created. And I'm going to copy that to nodes, node 03, SM data. So if I run that copy command, it's 15 gigabytes. So it should take some amount of time, of course. Um, while we're doing that, what we're going to, oh my gosh, it's already done. Um, Anyways, what we want to do now is go into our stack file and go to the editor. And we're on three. And I can just change this to eight, uh, version 1.2.8. Now, I don't want to deploy it yet because, actually, yes, I can. So because the file has finished, and if I do ls-lh media, uh, not media, nodes, Node 03, SM data, we can see the SQL file is now in this folder and we can just start our node and it thinks it's already done the database thing. So it's starting up just like it would the second or third time after the update. So going back to Firefox, we're just going to um, update the stack, update, and it's gonna start running um, to you know, so like the ideal way to do this is you would just stop all your nodes, copy the file over to all of them. And that's what I'm going to do after this video. And then update all of them to version 1.2.8 and then start them all at the same time. So uh, you don't need to do it like one at a time like this. I'm just doing that to show you. Um, and we can confirm that it's working, go into our logs, and then perfect. We can see that it's started up um, and it's doing its thing here. Uh, it's still going to take, you know, typical amount of time to start up. So we're not really like making it run any faster than before, but in this case, it's not gonna take as long as it would if it had to still compact the database and you're getting rid of that 12 gigabyte uh, state file that you don't need. And, and it will recreate it. So let's go back. And if we do something like um, ls-lh, we'll do node zero, three, the one that we just did, we can see it's already recreated these two files and you can see they're much smaller and they should stay a little bit smaller. Um, they're going to grow a little bit, but uh, the idea is to at least get you back to like a decent starting point. So yeah, that's the update. Uh, it takes a little bit more time than needed. Don't forget with your configs, you need to update that uh, I don't even know if I did it for number th for three. I think I'm gonna have to uh, redo it for three, but don't forget that you need to do nodes, node zero three config, and we need to add that ATX thing. So uh, I'll do that, but uh, that's really it for the video. Uh, there's basically what you gotta do is set up one node with the update, let it do the update, stop it, um, run the vacuum command, copy that database over to all of your other nodes, update the versions, update the configs, and then get everything started again. And that's that. So hopefully this helped you. I know it's kind of like a long video and updates shouldn't be this difficult, but it is what it is. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask, uh, but good luck.